All patient tubes and suction connections should be routinely checked to ensure proper leak-proof operation and chest tube patency. Like all atria models, the Ocean 2002 single drain collection chamber incorporates a large writing surface with big bold numbers and easy to read fluid level graduations. The first collection chamber column is calibrated in small 1 ml increments up to 100 milliliters in brightly colored bold numbers then in 2 ml increments up to 200 milliliters. Subsequent collection chamber columns are calibrated in 10 ml increments up to the maximum drain capacity of 2100 milliliters. Depending upon your hospital's preferred sampling technique, samples of drainage fluid can be taken directly from the patient tube by forming a temporary dependent loop and inserting a 20 gauge or smaller needle with syringe at a shallow angle. On selected models, samples can be taken directly from the needleless lure lock sampling port located on the patient tube connector. A water seal is a simple one-way valve which allows air to exit the chest and prevents air from returning to the patient under normal conditions. It's also a very useful diagnostic tool as it can show even the smallest trends of an air leak as well as changes in intrathoracic pressure. Assessing patient air leaks is easy with Atrium's blue tint water and air leak monitor. Continuous bubbling observed in the water seal will confirm a persistent air leak in either the patient's thoracic cavity or possible tube connections. Intermittent bubbling with gentle float ball oscillation will confirm the presence of an intermittent air leak. And no bubbling with minimal float ball oscillation at the bottom of the water seal indicates that no air leak is present. Bubbling from right to left in the air leak monitor must be present to confirm an active air leak. The Ocean Graduated Air Leak Monitor allows visual detection of air leaks from a low volume of 1 to a larger air leak volume of 5. Air bubbles passing through the Graduated Air Leak Monitor help the clinician assess air leak patterns and patient air leak trends. Changes in intrathoracic pressure can be determined by observing the level of the blue tint water and float ball in the calibrated water seal column. Atrium's blue tint water and float ball make changes in patient pressure easy to monitor even in low light conditions. When the system is connected to suction, patient intrathoracic pressure will equal the suction control setting plus the float ball water column level. For gravity drainage applications, patient pressure will equal the float ball water column level only. Each Atrium Ocean chest drain incorporates an advanced high negativity float valve which is located at the top of the water seal chamber. During normal or deep inspiration, Atrium's float valve will allow thoracic patients to draw as much intrathoracic pressure as they may require during each respiratory cycle. However, during prolonged periods of accumulating vacuum pressure, Atrium's float valve will automatically lower high vacuum pressure down to a safer, more desirable level. Atrium's unique controlled release valve design safely and automatically protects your patients against prolonged exposure to excessive negative pressures, which can accumulate as a result of repeated patient tube milking or stripping. To manually lower the height of the water seal column when connected to suction, temporarily depress the manual vent located on top of the drain until the blue water column lowers to the desired level. It is not recommended to depress the manual vent when suction is not connected or not operating. When monitoring a patient's chest drainage system, it's important to periodically check the water seal's operation and fluid level. If the water seal is either underfilled or overfilled, it should be adjusted accordingly to the prescribed maximum 2 centimeter level. Using a 20 gauge needle with syringe, adjust the water level via the grommet located on the back of the water seal chamber. The Ocean features an advanced water seal design for maximum knockover protection, even when connected to suction. In the event of an accidental knockover, its knockover nozzles help minimize interchamber spillover for the ultimate in system reliability, user convenience, and patient safety. Most healthcare facilities routinely use suction for their patients as it helps improve the rate and flow of fluid drainage from the patient and out through the thoracic catheters. Suction also helps increase the rate and volume of airflow out of the patient to help maximize full lung expansion and stabilize breathing dynamics. The volume and height of water in the suction control chamber is what safely controls the amount of suction pressure provided to the patient. 
The Ocean traditional wet suction control format is a simple but extremely reliable method for regulating vacuum to a patient. When monitoring a chest drainage system, it's important to maintain constant gentle suction control bubbling and to periodically check and adjust the water levels in both the suction control chamber and water seal during system operation as required. If you need to increase or decrease the amount of suction to the patient, simply turn off the suction source and adjust the height of the suction control water level accordingly by either adding water or removing water using a 20 gauge needle with syringe and adjusting via the grommet located on the back of the suction control chamber. Suction pressures greater than minus 20 centimeters of water can be accomplished with a calibrated wall regulator or portable pump by simply taping over the suction control vent plug with non-porous tape and reading the vacuum pressure imposed directly from the regulator or pump. There will be no visible bubbling in the suction control chamber when the vent plug is taped over for external suction regulation. In the event of an accidental knockover, place the drain in an upright position immediately and check for interchamber spillover and correct fluid levels. Both suction control and water seal fluid levels may be adjusted as necessary. For patient transport and gravity drainage applications, simply disconnect the suction source vacuum line from the stepped suction line connector or suction control stopcock. For models equipped with a suction control stopcock, it's recommended to leave the stopcock in the on or open position at all times, even when the suction line is not connected or in use. As a safeguard against tension pneumothorax, a fully automatic positive pressure release valve opens instantly to release excessive accumulating positive pressure when such clinical conditions may arise. Its unique tamper-resistant design is located in an obstruction-free area on top of the drain. Selected Atrium Ocean models come equipped with a locking inline connector and patient tube clamp that provides convenient simple disconnection after use or rapid inline ATS blood bag attachment when required. The patient tube slide clamp must remain open at all times during system operation. It's recommended to position the patient tube clamp next to the inline connector for setup convenience and routine visual check. The patient tube clamp can be removed if desired. Handling and disposing of a discarded chest drain and its contents should be in accordance with all applicable regulations and approved hospital infection control standards.